Hello everyone, I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome to Time Wasters. And my god, is that accurate? Because <laughs> I've wasted so much time in this already. I've been wanting to make a video on this for a bit, and I just haven't. And I have been playing it in my free time, so I'm quite advanced in this. Uh, and it is one of my ever-growing collection of vampire survivor likes. Although this one is a little more involved. I do want to give you a warning, though. There's a lot to take in when it comes to this, right? Like, there's a lot to take in, especially considering... Look at all these players. Like, look at all these captains you can be. There's so much. I actually want to try one of the newer ones, which is Doc. He has the static field weapon, which is essentially like garlic. I'll try my best to give you some comparison. But let's jump in and see what it's all about, right? So... One of the big things you're going to notice is there's a lot going on, right? There's a lot going on on the screen. Lots of screen clutter in this HUD, but it's actually not too bad to read once you know what you're looking out for, right? So in the top right, we have the waves. So the current waves of enemies that are coming after us. Uh, in the top left, we have experience and level, as well as shields and health, being the green bar, by the way. And dashes, which are basically just our little dash away on left shift and uh, we also have time cubes and uh, these like i don't really remember what they're called but they're used to upgrade your stats outside of games uh, as well as a list of upgrades we can currently have if we were to hit tab to select the upgrade it actually stocks them up and you don't have to do them right away in case you know you don't want to be interrupted with something you're doing but let's actually do that oh i can't click it okay good to know <laughs> so here we go here's the upgrades once we collect enough gold we can select an upgrade similar to how you've seen in other vampire survivors games uh and i believe we can re-roll there let's re-roll and actually focus on our main weapon the static field and then we have more damage uh i'll also you know increasing our max shields is probably a good idea uh, and yeah, we'll just increase our main weapon. Oh, it gives you a little bit of slowdown at the end there. That's nice. So one of the other components of this game is that there are planets and things on the field that you can go up to. And these will actually do things when you go up to them and then puts it on a cooldown. So that one actually gives me a time cube, which means that I can reroll with it. Or if I save up enough, I can purchase stuff in the shops. So time cubes are very useful, a uh, very useful piece of currency. This planet allows you to gather more gold when you destroy things. Oh my God. So it's uh, very useful for grinding if you don't mind staying in a specific spot. Oh, there's a lot going on right now. Oh my God. I might need to get more than just the static field or at least upgrade it a bit more. Uh, I don't like the, I don't like this though. I'm not really a fan of the plasma shot. So I'll do, I'll do the gold, uh, chain lightning. Yes, we'll do chain lightning. And yeah, lightning range, there we go. Now, now, unlimited power, kind of. It's very limited, actually. It's, <laughs> the, the, the Sith really just don't sell you right on this. It's, it's quite limited, to be quite honest. <laughs> uh, then we'll get hull damage in two seconds to trigger invincibility, yes. That sounds very nice. That sounds very nice. So yeah, a lot going on at first, right? And you're like, oh my God, there's so much information to take in. But now that things have started and you kind of get the general idea on what some of these icons mean, you know, they're just directing you towards the various planets that do things. Ow. Uh, you know, you can kind of get to grips with what's going on. Finally, calm down a little bit. Okay, that's not done yet. Ooh, is this the magnet? Yeah, big suck. Big suck on all the gold that's kind of hidden around. Also, you'll notice this guy is roaming around and he's a pretty tough dude to kill. He's actually sucking up the gold, the experience from the enemies I'm defeating. Now, at first I thought, oh, that's bad. But actually what he does is the more gold that he sucks, the uh, they basically give you a multiplier on the gold for when you defeat him he will drop all of that gold and give you a absolute ton of uh, of experience you gotta survive to that point though all right let's actually do yeah let's uh do an upgrade lightning strikes um block damage while boosting recharge would be good i think 
And then we'll do max boosts. Yeah, so now I can zoom away if I need to. This planet here actually has turrets on it, which will help us uh, just by firing. It's very useful. Sometimes the upgrades you get... Oh, boss, boss time! Sometimes the upgrades you get, by the way, will also affect planets. So be sure to, like, properly read things through. One of the upgrades you can get will make that turret planet have more turrets. So that way it does even better. So now that the boss is here, the waves are actually paused. And we can actually take our time to finish off some of the extra enemies which were crowding us. As well as maybe get rid of the gold bug so we can get our upgrades. Which I think I might do. Static mines? Wait, what? There are static mines now? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Did we accidentally defeat the gold bug? And I didn't... I didn't pick it up? I actually don't know where he is. Oh, unless he's like caught up in this. Oh no, he's down there. There he is. So yeah, we'll try and we'll try and defeat gold bug, and that way we'll get probably an absolute ton of experience. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how much we get from this, because he was sucking up a lot of stuff. Let's go! Eleven! Oh my god, okay. Static field slows enemies, that's nice. Extra range. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, more range, uh, more gold pickup. Chance of lightning branches. Yes, we'll do that. More max boosts, more shield recharge, uh, more gold per pickup. That's nice. I like that one. Static field range, slows enemies, more gold. Yeah, look how big this thing is now. And it's doing a load of damage. Now, if you know what you're going for and you don't really need to look at the upgrade tab you can actually hit one two and three to just upgrade there and then rather than having to go into the menu which is actually very useful there we go almost almost got this yeah there we go so that's some time cubes as well as upgrades uh that we can use to give us some general boosts those Purple cubes are actually the thing that will increase our stats in between runs, as well as upgrade our captains. Oh no, they're attacking the the this thing. <laughs> so after one wave of uh, a one boss, basically, one of the planets will get attacked. So it's our job to try and make sure that it can survive by killing all of the ships around it. We'll try our best to do this in a timely manner because I actually wouldn't mind triggering this thing. This thing has a chance to give you just the cubes for upgrades. Uh, and it's, it's very useful, especially since you can get like five from it sometimes. Which is actually wild. Suck! Give me all the experience. Lightning range, max chain. Uh, we'll do shields. Yeah, they've actually made some nice quality of life upgrades since I've played this last. Being able to slow down time a little bit after upgrading is very nice. Kind of gives you the smallest bit of breathing room. Yeah, this is going well. I actually really like the upgraded static field. The fact that it like slows enemies too. <laughs> you can barely get in. Oh, okay, well they, they're starting to get in now. <laughs> they're getting very close. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus, you're too close. Oh my god, you almost killed me. I didn't even notice the big guy. No! <laughs> Alright, so we were able to beat one boss with that character. I have no idea what the katana is. So I'm gonna try doing this. Max blue katanas, max red katanas. What? Okay, let's just let's just find out. Oh, oh, oh no. Ew, I, I don't know if I like... Oh, and they go away as well? What's the point? <laughs> oh, okay, no, it's a timed thing. Okay, I thought it was like that it disappeared when it attacked something. I'm like, ugh, that's, that's kind of bad. So I wasn't playing optimally. I'll be honest, considering I've been trying to like explain what I'm doing, uh, I wasn't playing very optimal, uh, especially considering we can use time cubes to boost us like crazy boost us if we get five of these cubes we can go to the shop here and actually use them to get 
some major upgrades all in one go. Like these things, are, they cost five cubes, but you get like five levels in something. So it's actually wild. That is huge benefits right there. I am going to get, I'm going to get fireballs, I think, because I don't like relying on these katanas. I, I already hate it, to be quite honest. <laughs> Wham! There we go. Yeah, I do not like these katanas already. But they might be good when we upgrade them, but right now I'm not I'm not a fan. Uh I don't really yeah, no, we'll do that then. Uh fireball range, fireball damage. Max fireballs. Nice. We've got some more fireballs. So one of the other things you can actually do as you uh, unlock more captains is that eventually you might see the captains as usable upgrades to like level up and such and if you do that it will one give you a big boost to whatever their primary weapon is uh and allow you to get the super version of that so it's essentially like you know the, the way you would get evolutions in things like uh vampire survivors okay i guess there's no point in me picking that up actually because i have full health already also, I need to visit this area for a free upgrade. Oh, Katana slow enemies, sure. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, but okay. I mean, you have to get pretty close for the Katana to even slow them, right? Like, this feels like it's... <laughs> I, I must be getting shafted on, on the upgrades of this because it feels so not good. <laughs> I mean, they do a lot of contact damage. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so here we go. Vermilion is a crewmate that will give us all this stuff when we actually hire them. So this is this is wild. Give us an extra fireball. Just generally way more damage on them. And it's actually a really good upgrade to get. So, eh, get this because it's another time cube. How many have I got? Five? Hey, I can actually do it already. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm actually going to wait for one more because I didn't like what they have in the shop right now. And with that, you can re-roll what they have and hopefully we'll get something better. But I just got to wait for one more cube, which is only in eight seconds. This planet over here generates them. So, hey, more katana. Wow. That's a lot of damage. What the? Oh, my God. Woohoo. All right, so while I might not like the uh, practicality of them, holy shit, they do a lot of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> so we got more attack speed on the fireballs as well as some range. All right, I think that, yeah, we got six now, so uh, I'm going to reroll these. Ooh! Ah, so we could super upgrade our katanas. Or we could super upgrade the fireballs. I'm going to super upgrade the fireballs for now. Hey, and if we get five more, we know we have a katana one in there. So yeah, look at these fireballs now. Absolutely wild. <laughs> Way faster. Which is going to be incredibly useful for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything that the, uh, anything that the katanas can't reach, the fireballs are going to take care of. And they just generally do a lot of damage. I loved using the fireball. I think my one of my best runs is with the fireballs, actually. All right, let's let's yeah, let's get this upgrade it like crazy. Red katana cooldown, okay. Max fireballs, yes. Blue katana cooldown, sure. I don't really like any of these, which sucks. I don't need to take them though. So right now I can wait. And hopefully we'll get, uh, yeah, we'll get a cube soon and be able to use that to just re-roll the things on there. Not a big fan. I'm actually really happy with the amount of flexibility you get. Okay, well, I guess we're not doing that yet. I'm really happy. Look how much damage this does compared to the static field. This thing is crazy. Woo! Oh my god, that boss went down so quick. Okay, let me grab this. I want to make sure that this isn't going to be the one that, okay, there we go. Super Magnet! Okay, so now we have another cube. Let's re-roll that. Uh, yes. I am down for that. Um, sure. We'll also get red katana cooldown. Blue katana cooldown. Um, upgrade for you. Okay, now we've got some fireballs. Maybe the range? 
Because the damage is pretty good so far. So extra range on the fireball seems like a good idea. Okay, so we have... Ooh, there's actually a time cube down here. I'm thinking I go get this real quick, and then we'll go and save this planet. Now, this planet I haven't actually been to in the get in the in the video yet. This one actually spawns one of those magnets, which will allow us to. Oh my god! Look, I, I might complain about the katana's uh, functionality, right? But oh my god, I'm not going to complain about the damage these things do. Holy shit! You could make like a serious close range f you build <laughs> this is wild uh now i'm gonna re i'm gonna re-roll again more range of the fireballs Woo! maximum fireball increase Woo <laughs> okay so much oh my god might actually be able to save this there we go yeah we actually did nice and then we'll use that to suck and, you know what? I can also use the one building that was in trouble last time. It spawns one of these cubes. It rolls the dice. And, wow, we got really lucky. Oh, my God. Five of them. Oh, man. That hurt, though. Damn. Come on, Fireball. You, you got to do your job. Uh, let's re-roll. Max boosters. Uh, see, I could get the wolf pack. Yeah, you know what? We will. We will get the wolf pack. Why not? So the wolf pack actually will spawn in friendly ships to come and help out. The only problem I think about having it this late in the game is that they really need upgrades to survive. <laughs> and so if you don't start with them, they can be a little tough. I mean, to, to, to like justify in my opinion. But hey, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually already doing way better than I did last time, so that's nice. Oh, is this uh, health? Yeah, nice. Okay, let's grab this first. Let's wait for the enemies. Whee! Supernova! Grab this. Get the health. Any of the uh, units you see with little blue outlines are my, my new friends. They're going to try and help me. Gold pickup range, which is the... Uh, yellow ring around us. I think the red ring is actually the distance the fireball is willing to go. Oh shit, might as well. Oh no, I can't get this. Heck. But I can actually get the free level from up here. And since we are... Oh yes. Since we're kind of safe here, I think I'll stay here for a little bit to get some more levels. Never mind, we're not safe here. Oh my god, the swarm. Wolfpack, this is probably a bad choice, but like I don't know what else I could choose. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes, Wolfpack. Oh my god. All right, well, I guess I do need that health. <laughs> Here I come. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. God, things are starting to get really spicy. Oh my goodness. Okay. We got four cubes. I, ooh, I have one help. <laughs> well then. <laughs> and with all those cubes that we found, we can actually upgrade uh, our captains and such. So that uh, I believe this will available as crew. Oh. How do you... Oh, right, yeah. So if you complete their specific missions, that's when you can unlock them as crew members. Okay, yeah. Silly me. I'm, I'm forgetting how this works. But yeah, you can upgrade a bunch of stuff to be able to make your runs uh, a little bit a little bit easier. So yeah, that's Time Wasters. Very fun game. Very hectic, as you can see. Uh, but there are opportunities to snowball in this really hard if you actually get lucky, pay attention to what you're unlocking, uh, and pick your favorites. So... If you want to check this out, link in the descriptions. If you want to see more Vampire Survivor-like games, here are two suggestions. Click on one of those to continue watching. But until next time, take care. Gee, thanks. Bye.